This is a nice easy video compared to the last one. We're going to take our one bit of memory and create one byte of memory. So let's get to it. So that's us created our one byte of memory. All of the outputs go to this splitter here and then they go to an output pin. All of the inputs go to this splitter here and it goes to an input pin. All of the sets all join together and go to this set pin. So just be careful when you're building this because this input pin here goes to position zero and input position zero is at the other side here. So don't go mixing them up by putting this into pin 7 by mistake. So let's go ahead and we'll see how this works. We know that whenever the set is equal to 0, the output just remains the same. So whenever I change the input, there's nothing happens to the output. That value there is locked in the memory. Now it won't pass this memory at this information into the memory, that is it won't write into the memory until the set goes high. So the set going high writes into memory. So there we go, the set's gone high and we've written these values into the memory. So if we dive down inside one of these, you'll see that that has been set at high. Now, if we were to change any of these at the moment, then this is just, in effect, looks like a transparent latch. So that just passes whatever value we have directly through to the output. But whenever this set goes low, then this information here is retained in memory. So it means that whenever the input changes, there's nothing happens to the output. So this means that the, this one byte of memory has now been saved. So let's go ahead and we'll build up the hierarchy for this. So we can get into project, add circuit, we'll call it cpu underscore mem underscore 8. And there you see it's available here. So we can get into our main and we can grab our circuit, control X, control V, and that's us got our circuit available to us. Now we can go ahead into the CPU underscore mem underscore 8. We'll right click, edit circuit appearance, and I'll go in and I'll adjust the circuit appearance now. So that's us built up our one byte of memory and we've got it available to us. So now we can get in, we can pick out a one byte of memory and we can use that. Now in the next video we'll take this one byte of memory, we'll add an enable section on to the end of it and build up a register. So that's all there is for this video. I'll get you in the next video. Goodbye.